What's up, everybody? It's Legal Tender. Back in the building. Back in the vault. I pulled out a special item to make a new video. All right, first off, I want to thank everybody for the love and support of the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, I sincerely mean it, and I really do appreciate all the love and support that I have received thus far. Uh, keep it up, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, that does not fall on deaf ears. I'm deeply appreciative of that. Uh, if you're a fan of Newsmatics, if you're a fan of Paper Currency, stay rocking with me, stay rocking with the channel. Every Tuesday is Legal Tender Tuesday. I will be making a new video speaking about something new and different regarding Newsmatics and Paper Currency. So, with that being said, all right. So, on today's video, I will be speaking about something different in relation to paper currency. And it is mutilated notes. So, I purchased this from a, a third party just to show my overall love of paper currency. Like, I'm a fan of all currency, even the non spinnable type. So, that's what we got. Look at that. Um, it came in a bag. I just decided to put it in this jar. And they said that the value, the value on the bag stated that it was worth like $40,000, but I spent like 12 bucks for it. So let's get into today's video about mutilated notes. So did you know that the Bureau of Engraving and Printing has an entire division that is dedicated to the mutilating, shredding, and or reimbursement of civilian destroyed bills, providing that they meet the Bureau's requirements, of course. The BEP's mutilated, <coughs> the BEP's mutilated currency division provides free Mutilated currency redemption services for individuals and institutions such as businesses and financial institutions in possession of United States mutilated currency. So obviously they're talking about banks, um, loan establishments. If you are a private citizen that happens to have a stockpile of money that's destroyed, um, you can submit a request to get it redeemed. On average, the BEP receives more than 22,000 requests for redemption, which totals to about $35 million annually. So your money, your currency can be redeemed, but it's um, certain parameters that it has to fall into. So what is mutilated currency? Mutilated currency is any currency which has been damaged to the extent that one half or less of the original note remains or its condition is questionable. The most common cause of mutilation is fire, water damage, chemicals, insects, rodents, and even burial. The final approval on request for redemption Acceptance is the director of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. Mutilated currency can be fully redeemed if the following is performed. So more than 50% of the mutilated note is clearly identified as U.S. currency, along with sufficient remnants of any relevant security features. I'll take a little pause for a second. So security features were first introduced to currency on series year 1990 and the first denomination to receive a security feature was the hundred dollar bill and by security feature this is what i mean if you hold up your note of 1990 uh to current 
you'll see a little security thread right there. So what they did was to deter counterfeiters, at some point the Bureau of Engraving and Printing decided to place a security script inside or embed it within the um, note and the cashier would just get it, hold it up. And if they seen that little security thread, they knew that this was an authentic um, US currency note. And they, they came in all denominations, but the first denomination to have it was the $100 bill on series year 1990. As you can see right here, it's a series year 1995. So they was in place for at least five years at that point. Yeah, you can see it a little bit right there. So if you are requesting, if you are requesting to have um, damaged or mutilated notes reimbursed, if they were predated by series year 1990, you won't have any security features in your note to um, turn in. Um, also, the missing remnants must be completely destroyed. So you can't have a bill, tear it in half, and request to have half of the note redeemed, and then later on request the other half be redeemed. Like the entire note, not the entire note, um, like I just said, up to 50% of the mutilated note is identified as US currency and one half or less of the original note remains. And anything that's damaged or destroyed must be like completely gone. Like you can't resubmit that later. I'm pretty positive that the Bureau of Engraving and Printing will have an investigative team to validate your claim. So once you send something in, I'm pretty sure like it'll be a very thorough investigation to make sure that they redeem that they are redeeming a, a valid claim. Like, you know, it is money that they handing out. So be mindful of that. All right. <clears throat> so, like I said, more than 50% of the note has to be identified as US currency. And yeah, they will probably redeem this right here. Because it's still attached to the note. It's just shredded, mutilated, as, as they say. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can turn that in and it'll get redeemed. So, there will not be any redemption qualities on your notes. Your request won't get redeemed if it is an intentional mutilation. Um, during the request of redemption, it is found out that the act is illegal or a criminal um, scam so you can't you can't do anything illegal and expect to get money from the government uh, misrepresent risk misrepresentation of the facts during the request of redemption and fragments cannot be identified oh and fragments cannot be identified as u.s notes oh Fragments must be, hold on. Fragments cannot be identified as U.S. notes. So, okay, so you can purchase these. I did, I got mine from a third party, but um, mutilated notes can be purchased through the Bureau of Engraving and Printing at the Washington, D.C or the Fort Worth facility. Um, large amounts can be purchased for artistic reasons, but there's a certain quantity that has to be approved by the director of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. Because if anyone's seen Batman Returns, how Oswald Copperpot found all those shredded documents and taped it all together, some odd reason they think you you may do that, but if you taping all this together, more power to you. But yeah, a certain quantity has to be approved by the director of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. 
Um, you cannot resell um, notes, uh, mutilated notes that you purchase, even though I got mine from a third party. So you can't resell, and then depending on the quantity of mutilated notes that you receive, you have to follow the guidelines and regulations of the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. Because I've seen somewhere to where they shred the notes and they actually reintroduced, they reintroduced them back into the soil. So they used, they used it to fertilize the soil. I think I've seen that on like a, a foreign channel or something like that. So be mindful of that. So like I said, you can purchase these notes from the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. They come in packages like that. Mine did. Then I put it in this jar. And let's get into the fun facts. All right, so the average lifespan of a note is for a $1 bill, it is 3.7 years. For a $5 bill, it is 3.4 years. For a $10 bill, it is 3.4 years. 20 is 5.1. A $50 note, it has the longest lifespan of 12.6 years. And a $100 note is 8.9 years. So, that's what we got, man. Mutilated notes. So, like I said, I'm a fan of all types of currency, even currency you can't spend. So, that's what we got for this one. All right, till next time, keep it legal, keep it tender. Talk to you soon.